Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be Kaysen's bedroom transformation and I am so stinking excited for you guys to see how we transformed his bedroom. So in this video, you're going to get a little bit of cleaning, some decorating. You're going to get to see the final result of the bedroom and Kaysen's reaction to his bedroom as well as some bloopers at the end. If you're new to my channel, then I would love for you guys to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so that way you are notified anytime I post a new video. And for everyone watching, if you could do, do me a huge, huge favor and go ahead and click the thumbs up button because it helps me out so, so much. All right, let's get into this room makeover. I hope you're excited. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a little before. So obviously the bed is new. He had bunk beds before, which you've already seen in the clip earlier. And then we have taken down, um, like this was up there on that. And um, we're gonna keep the desk, but we're actually gonna get rid of the top part. And we're gonna do something on the wall instead. So we'll get rid of a lot of this stuff that's up there. And then this little sign is new. This little throw pillow is new, but it came with it came from Betty's Beds, which I'm gonna show you guys our new bedding that we got from there too. So this is his old bedding, which came from Target. And then, um, like I said, the, this bed is new. It's from Ashley Furniture. And then um, this is staying, but we took his little sign. It was on his bunk bed. We took it off of there. My brother, my stepbrother, actually made that sign for Kaysen when he was born. And that's just a little trash can. This was up here and I'm about to take this down. We're not doing superheroes anymore. We're gonna do more of like a baseball, basketball sports room. Um, we're gonna probably keep this and that just because he does like to hunt. So we're gonna have to incorporate that somehow. And then we've got this little side table, which is from um, Hobby Lobby. I got that a while back when we moved in. That's an old lamp. We'll probably get rid of that as well. So anyways, this room is about to have a little makeover. Okay, so you're gonna see me over several days doing this makeover. So just get ready to see me in tons of different outfits. I kinda took this slow and steady. <laughs> um, but the first thing that I basically did was just got down all of the decor in his room. I took it all down just so that I had a clean slate to work with. After I realized how heavy this top piece was, I decided I was not gonna try to take it out on my own, so Chance ended up taking it out to the garage for me, and then he actually decided to use it as part of his workbench. So it's perfect out there, and we're still using it. Now the next thing that I did was I went around and got any little marks off the wall with this magic eraser, and believe me there are a ton and this actually took me a while to do because Kaysen has a black basketball that he used to shoot in the little hoop that's on this door so there were scuff marks all over the door all over the wall and it did take me a while but it's nice and clean now so I'm not sure that I'll be letting him use that black basketball anymore. <laughs> Now this is the bedding that we ended up picking out for Kaysen and it's from Betty's and this is such a special brand and I'll show you why later on in the video but I am obsessed with this brand. We also got Gracie June a set for her bed and you'll get to see that in a different video probably next week. But we wanted to go ahead and wash the bedding before putting it on and it says to add a cup of distilled white vinegar to help the color set which is such a great tip if you are wanting to make sure that your colors don't bleed or that they don't fade. Then go ahead and wash them 
in the washing machine with a cup of white distilled vinegar. Next, I moved on to a little DIY project for Kaysen's room, and I actually was inspired by Shannon, who is the daily DIYer on YouTube. Her channel is amazing, and she's always doing lots of Dollar Tree DIYs. So these little baskets and the over-the-door coat hanger are both from Dollar Tree, and then I picked up some spray paint at Walmart for this project. It was super, super easy, and I can't wait to show you guys how it turned out. So the first thing that I did for this project was I cut the little pieces that go over the door because I wanted this to lay flat against the wall. Originally, I had planned on actually putting this straight on the wall and having the baskets hang to put his pencils or whatever else in, but that didn't work too well because the baskets kept touching the wall. So I improvised and I ended up using these pieces in a little bit of a different way. So you'll get to see that in just a little bit. The next thing that I did was just spray paint my Dollar Tree items. So the white baskets I spray painted in a navy blue color and then the over the door hanger thing I ended up spray painting in the oil rubbed bronze. Alright so now we're starting to add in all of the decor in the room and we started out with just hanging all of the items that we needed to hang on the wall and a few of the items we ended up hanging with the command strips which I talked about in my last video and someone asked for a tutorial so here's your little quick tutorial on how to use the command strips and we're using the picture hanging ones because they have velcro so you can easily take your pictures off the wall without putting any holes or anything in there and then also the good thing about the velcro is that if for some reason you put it on the wall and it's not completely level you can take it off and put it back up and it's still you can level it out easy So as you can see for this first piece, we just kind of eyeballed it. I am not a perfectionist, but I figured with the first piece we could kind of move the desk around if we needed to. And I just marked the wall with a yellow color pencil because I knew that it would come off easy with a magic eraser if I needed it to. And then while he was putting it on the wall, he used his leveler. But like I said, if it for some reason was not level, the good thing about these kind of command strips is that you can take it off the wall and kind of move it around a little bit to level it out. Now for the bookshelf, we did end up having to screw this one into the wall and here we're just kind of guessing about where we want it and I'm using my yellow color pencil again. And we're also using the leveler just to make sure that it's even on the wall. Now the next trick I stole from my friend Amanda. She used this in her bathroom makeover and she just used toothpaste and put it where the screws would go on the shelf and then push it up against the wall and then that is where you screw the screws into the wall. Now I would suggest using like a white toothpaste or something that's a little lighter. I was a dummy and I went into the kids bathroom since it was right there and I grabbed their toothpaste which was blue <laughs> and so you couldn't see it as well but it still worked out perfectly and I'm just using the flashlight right here so Chance can see where we had our yellow pencil on the wall and he made the marks and then we screwed in the screws and hung up the shelf and it was so easy. So I did actually have more wall decor to hang, but we ran out of command strips this evening and so I ordered more on Amazon and had to wait a few days for those to get in before I could hang the rest of the wall decor. So after I was done hanging this bookshelf, we ended up moving on to hanging the lamps, which I also got on Amazon and I'll link as much stuff as I can in the description box in case you're interested. But Chance just screwed these into the wall and at first I wasn't really crazy about the wires hanging down because Chance was kind of making a big deal about it but honestly I think it looks totally fine in this room and they don't bother me at all and when you look on Pinterest I've seen lots of rooms that have the wire hanging and I think it just gives it more character. <laughs> Alright, tell me your true thoughts right now. About what? About 
these wonderful lights that you just put on the wall. Or good. in case it's you know, what I really like is this decor coming from the lampshade. I don't understand it. But <laughs> okay, I'll... now tell me how you feel about me uh, right now. I love you. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. So a few days later, my command strips came in the mail and I went ahead and ordered a big pack of 30 because like I said, we use these all the time in our house and we go through them like crazy. But I went ahead and put them on the back of the rest of the decor that I needed to hang and then I started hanging my items. Now I wanted to hang case and sign right here above these two boards. So what I did was I measured the distance from one end of the chalkboard to the other end of the magnetic board. And then I laid it down on top of case and sign and made sure that there were the same number of inches on both sides of the board. And that's how far I measured on the wall to put my marks. Next, I just kind of eyeballed the distance that I wanted it above the two signs and made sure to line it up with the marks that I made and used my leveler, leveler, and then pushed it onto the wall. And then now I'm hanging the sign that's gonna go over Kaysen's bed and I used the same technique. I measured between the two lamps and then made sure that there was the same distance on both sides of the picture from the end of the picture frame to the lamp. Now I'm finishing up my DIY that I started earlier and all I did was I took a few nails and put it into the bottom of the magnetic board so I could hang my rack and then I got these galvanized little tins off of Amazon. It came with like a pack of 12 or something and I'll have that link below too but then I just hung it here and then you can put your crayons, color pencils, markers, any kind of items that you want into these little buckets. And I think it turned out really, really cute. They don't touch the wall like the baskets were doing and they look perfect. Now I'm just gonna start adding some things to the bookshelf and majority of this stuff he already had. These are the Dollar Tree baskets here that I spray painted earlier and originally I had planned on hanging them from the rack but like I said they kept touching the wall and it just didn't work out so I felt like they looked perfect here. And then the little football man was actually one of Chance's trophies and he's a bobblehead so Kaysen really loves it so I decided we would put that on there. And then Kaysen has his spin, tithe, and save jars. So I just put those on the top shelf and then I put some of the baseballs that he has earned from game balls into these baskets and I figured as he earns more game balls he can put them in the baskets there too. And then also a little baseball trophy up there, a Rubik's Cube, and then this was a, an airplane that he actually created at school. I absolutely love the way that this all turned out and I didn't spend but literally like two bucks on the baskets and then some spray paint and other than that this was all free. <laughs> Now we also did end up using command strips to hang up these pictures that Kaysen gets from his Papa Ray every time they go hunting and he writes notes to him on the back so these are very sentimental so I decided to keep these and put them up on the wall. I just did not show the process. Now I'm finally getting to put the bedding onto his bed and like I said I got this from Betty's and I was most excited to see how this all turned out because I have been wanting this set for Kaysen's room for a while now and he actually picked up out the pattern himself and so he was super excited so definitely stick around till the end so you can see his reaction. But basically what makes the bedding so amazing is that it has this piece that goes on the bottom like a fitted sheet and then 
for your comforter, you throw it on top and it has a minky material built into it so you don't have to have an actual sheet and you just zip it all up together and that's it. So if you have kids and you're trying to get them to make up their beds, sometimes it's really hard, but with Betty's, these things are so, so easy to make up and you'll see Kaysen practice at the end of this video. I decided to keep all that in just because I figured you could see how he makes it up and how excited he was about it. But also if you have bunk beds, I know so many of you said whenever we did have Kaysen's bunk bed that I needed to get these because they make it so much easier to make your bed up. And I totally agree. If we had had these when we had bunk beds, it would have been so much easier. Now, Betty's also has lots of different pillowcases to choose from, and the actual set that Kaysen got came with two pillow shams and then two pillowcases to match the fitted sheet. But we also ended up ordering a couple of different pillowcases with baseballs on them and then also some with basketballs on them. So I'm also super excited because Betty's gave me a 20% off coupon code for you guys. It's just AMYD80. You can use it at checkout if you are wanting to get some bedding for yourself. And like I said earlier, they have so many different options on their website and I actually got Gracie June a bedding set too, but I'm not going to show that in this video. It'll be in next week's video. Now Betty's also has throw pillow options so we ended up getting a baseball and a basketball which made this turn out just perfect. Alright guys, are y'all ready to see the final results? I am so excited to show you and here we go. So I hope you enjoyed seeing Kaysen's bedroom makeover. In just a second, you guys are going to get to see Kaysen's reaction to his bedroom as well as some bloopers at the end. But I wanted to go ahead and close out this video and tell you guys I'm so grateful for you and also wanted to remind you if you are not subscribed, then go ahead and click that subscribe button right now as well as the bell notification button so you can be notified when I post new videos. And please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also, if you are in need of some cleaning motivation, then definitely check out my last video. It has tons of it, as well as a fun to go snack board for kids. And everyone has been loving that video as well as the music. So I know you guys will love it too. Thank y'all so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye y'all. All right, are you ready to see your room? No. 
You can come up. What do you think? Are you filming? Yep. Okay. Do you like it? <laughs> so what do you think? Good. You like it? What's your favorite part of your room? I have no idea. Why is there a zipper on here? Okay, so that's the cool part. You ready to see? So you have the zipper, right? So when you go to get in your bed, you're going to zip it down. Then you, there's a zipper on the other side too. And then when you get ready to make your bed, then all you do is zip it right back up. So it makes it super easy to zip your bed. So look on this side. All I have to do is just zip it up and then just straighten it out and then I'm done. Yeah. No. But, and then you just put your pillows back on. So well, that's comfortable. We're going to pretend. <laughs> yeah, look. I like you the inside. This, this is soft. Right here. Yeah, it's so soft. Okay. Look, it goes like through the whole so you're, under sheet. Yeah. All right, so you're asleep. <laughs> you wake up in the morning. With gum in my mouth. Yum. Oh, goodness. You can right, so you get it. in. And then look, you just fold the, this little minky. This is called minky. You fold it under. Make sure it's folded it's under. Already, mine's already folded. All right, and then you can just pick your pillow up. And zip. I could just do this. Look, just zip it. Zip it. Just make sure that. Oh, what the? It's not folded. Yeah, so just push it under. There you go. Zip it. Okay, done. And then you stick. And you're going to put these up there first. So you put that one on. And then you put, you put this one on. Just lean it straight up again. Turn it the other way. You can see. There you go. Okay, so now I'm done. Two, well, you need your two pillows. <gasps> And you put that one here, that one here, and that's I'm it. Done. How easy is that to make your bed? So easy. Zip. Bing, 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 bing. Done. Woo! High five. That thing is. This is so amazing. <laughs> is this amazing? Why do you do that? Why do you do that? Why do you see that? Why do you see that? It's going to be a little bit more. No, but I don't understand. Why would you just be a little higher up? Can you come down a little bit? Oh my gosh, I put it right where you made the marks. Okay. Like, you told me not to take the student off because you didn't know where I was going to put it. You're going to fight? Can you go see who that is? Go. Don't, don't fill that in with it. Did I just fill it in? Probably. Whoa, that's good. You like this? So. So. Where are you putting it? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> How happy are you with me right now? Stepping ecstatic. How much do you love me? <laughs> More than the moon. <laughs> Might as well just call this a clean and decorate with chance. Nah, this isn't. I'm gonna piss your husband off. <laughs>